Hi everyone, it's Anya. Today I'm going to talk about what's recyclable, what's compostable, and what goes in your trash bin. So this way you guys know what you can put where. If I know what items go in what bins, then I know what resources I'm using the most and how I can make more of an impact to better my environment. So if I'm recycling more or if I'm composting a lot of my goods, that way I know that I am contributing something. And these are all important things to know so that next time you are drinking something from a glass bottle, you'll know that, hey, I can recycle that. By the way, if you guys are wondering where exactly I am, I am in my college dorm room. I'm currently a freshman in college and they're pretty cool because my school gives recycling bin, a trash bin, and a compost bin to every student who lives in a dorm room. So I feel really eco-friendly. Also, I am an environmental studies major, so I'd like to eventually work in the environment some way. If you're curious and wondering that this is not a cooking video, I think it especially has a lot to do with food because we're talking about food waste and part of being a responsible cook is being responsible of cleaning up the space that you've used. Let's start with recycling. So what is recycling exactly? Recycling is a process of taking used materials and restoring them and reusing them in a different fashion. Typically um, they are repurposed um, into new items. A few benefits to recycling is it reduces the waste that is sent to landfills, it reduces energy, it helps conserve some natural resources. So I currently have a paper bag here with me, which is recyclable. And there are a bunch of things in here, which I will go through. Aluminum cans are recyclable, as long as there is no um, like leftover juice or soda or whatever is in here. Water bottles are recyclable, as long as there's no water. You typically have to take off the cap. The cap goes in the trash. If you clean out used little yogurt containers, they are recyclable, wash them out. Any paper is recyclable. Typically, the little bubble wrap is recyclable. If you got a package in the mail, you can flatten it out and it goes in the recycling bin. Any used juice boxes or milk cartons, recyclable. Any paper bags, like I said. If you want to recycle plastic bags, um, put a few in a bag, roll it up so that they're all in here. And any glass bottles. And the caps are good too. You were just at Starbucks and you got a cup with a cup full of coffee in a to-go mug. Um, the tops, the caps are always recyclable. Uh, the little cardboard um, heat protectors are recyclable. But typically, unless it, you are using compostable food where the cups um, from Starbucks are not recyclable because they have a plastic film in them, um, I think it's at the top and that prevents them from being recycled. Just a little plastic filmy part. How crazy is that? So unfortunately these go in the trash. Any paper, mail, newspapers, um, magazines are recyclable. Typically batteries are recyclable. Sometimes you have to safe handle them depending on where you live. If you check your local government um, recycle trash websites, typically they'll have information on where you can recycle batteries or certain like electronic goods such like that, um, how you can safely dispose of them. These days a lot of makeup is recyclable too, so sometimes you can get the cardboard and you can recycle that or the makeup containers themselves are recyclable. It'll usually say, oh, last but not least, drinking straws are recyclable. Okay, let's get to what may go in your trash bin. So called municipal solid waste. It basically makes up the everyday items that are thrown away um, in those large trash bins. If you're curious what happens with trash after it's thrown away, it typically ends up in landfills that were engineered um, so that it doesn't potentially leak. However, landfills take up a lot of space and are often ugly um, in the area and you know, ultimately, we don't have enough space to cover all the trash we use unless we start using other measures of getting rid of our waste. I have a few things right here that would end up going in the trash. So, for example, Ziploc bags go in the trash, used food containers. So any containers that have food that have touched them are go in the trash. 
plastic utensils that have been used also go in the trash, prescription medicine bottles, lids and caps that are smaller than three inches in diameter, styrofoam containers go in the trash, um, CD cases, cooking leftover cooking oil or grease go in the trash, diapers go in the trash. Also, we ought to keep in mind household hazardous waste material. These are often products that are flammable, uh, corrosive, or even toxic that you have to dispose of properly so that they don't harm your environment. So you can often check your local government website in your area and see what may consist of hazardous waste material. But a few ones that you might want to keep in mind that you don't throw away in the trash, the aerosol cans, um, pesticides, household cleaners, glues, and spray paints. So these you want to carefully dispose of. Last but not least, let's get to what is compostable. And if you're not sure what compost is and you haven't really heard about it before, the area I actually live in is really environmentally conscious. We're really um, keen on using compost. And compost is basically taking organic matter that has decomposed and recycling it to be used as a fertilizer in soil. So um, it often consists of food waste and scraps. It's usually really neat, nutrient um, rich, so it's great for soil and planting. Also greatly reduces the bulk in landfills. Um, that would take up landfill space. So composting is a good option if you have the space to do it wherever you live. Let's talk about some things that are compostable. So I have a leftover banana peel here, and that is compostable. Fruit or vegetable scraps are compostable. The compostable to go where, it often says if it's compostable on the container when you purchase it. Spoiled leftovers can go in the compost. Eggshells, nutshells, paper plates, paper towels, um, all these can be used. Paper napkins, tissues, um, takeout to go containers without the little metal handle can be composted. Coffee grounds, coffee filters, used pizza boxes, tea bags, dairy products, butter wrappers, paper bags, sandwich wrappers. Um, cotton swabs or cotton balls. Um, depending on where you live, some cities have a system of composting, recycling, and getting rid of your trash, which is really useful. It's helpful for your family's waste consumption bulk. Just by composting, you get rid of a lot of the stuff that may end up in your trash and in the landfill. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I will make a list of all the things that I've talked about that are recyclable, compostable, or um, that go in the trash bins. You guys can ask me questions below if you're curious about what an item, um, where an item should go. I hope to see you guys all very soon, and I will talk to you later. Have a great day.